brand new McLaren Artura. We are over here again at Long Island Sports Cars where this one is currently offered for sale. I'll link the direct listing to this one in the description below, along with the link to their website. So be sure to go check them out. So let's talk about the new McLaren Artura for a second. This is McLaren's newest model, their brand new six cylinder hybrid. And coming in with the new McLaren Artura also is going to be a relatively hefty price tag. <laughs> But again, it is a McLaren at the end of the day and it is a new model year with a price tag of just under $290,000. So starting off on the front of the car, we could see some significant differences in the outer styling of the car. So we have right here the front end radiator integrated with the headlight right here. It does form that McLaren shape and the McLaren emblem along with turn signal right down here, which is kind of hidden away. The front end does look relatively similar to most other McLaren models. Um, there are just some very subtle differences that you can see, one being obviously the headlights. Otherwise, it is relatively similar to the previous models. And speaking of exterior in the front, this pink color is the ceramic gray. It's about a $9,500 option that's added onto this car. It looks like a pastel color, if you can kind of see a little closer up here. Um, it's a mix between a gray and a little bit of blue touches in here, but it kind of resembles a pastel color also. Now coming along to the side of the car, we can see we do have carpet ceramic brakes, of course, on the front end and the rear end, with the front end tire size being 235s by 35s by 19s. These are forged alloy wheels, of course, and it again is an extra option. It's going to cost you about $5,000 for the set of wheels right here. Also on here are the uh, green painted brake calipers looks really nice against the ceramic gray color i like it again and also with the forged wheels it looks really nice too now just above these wheels also we do as you can see have two little kind of inserts right there just helping with the airflow this car is like a two-tone color so we have piano black finish on here it's not carbon fiber but it's piano black along the mirror caps the whole top of the car and all of the other accents on this car are piano black finished along with that ceramic gray color. Coming in here, you can see with a super large intake on the side of here with the massive radiator in there too, helping cool down that V6 motor, which we'll get into in just a moment. On the rear end again, we do have these forged alloy wheels again, and they are significantly wider than the fronts. These are gonna be 295s by 35s by 20s. Now coming around to the back of the car, we can see it's significantly different back here than all of the other previous models. You can really see into the motor from back here too. So if you can see straight down there, everything's exposed, which is nice because on all the modern cars, everything is normally covered up with a ton of plastic. So being able to see and access those areas like this is definitely a nice touch. It's a little bit more of a mechanical look, which I enjoy. I'm not sure if other people will, but I do. On here also on the bottom, we have that piano black large rear diffuser on here, which looks great. And we have the two center exhausts right up here too. Again, this is a V6, it's a hybrid motor, and we'll get into that also in just a second. And then in the center, we have the McLaren logo with the Artura badge just underneath it. And coming up just above there, you could see we do have a little bit more of this kind of hexagon shape, which continues up. This is all a metal finish up here. Same thing with this back here. Uh, it feels really nice. It's just a nice little touch that they added onto here. So talking about the powertrain on the new Artura, it's going to be a plug-in hybrid model on here. It's going to generate a combined power of 671 horsepower with 531 pound-feet of torque uh, with a 0 to 60 time of about 2.6 seconds. So it's definitely not an underrated V6 by any means in the uh, imagination and compared to all of its other models like the 720s and 650s and everything like that it's definitely still a very strong contender with those two however it does seem like it does offer a much more comfortable interior and feeling than those models do but you're still getting all of that power out of here so with that said let's go ahead though let's jump onto the interior and let's see what they've changed inside of there so this is the key that you get with the artura it's a brand new key I like the look of it. We have a little McLaren badge right up here. This is going to be your unlock button. We have your frunk unlock button right here and your standard lock button right here. So let's go ahead and let's unlock this. You see the turn signals. We have the auto fold mirrors that come out. We'll go ahead, put our hand right under here. There's a little button and there they go. All right, so we are now inside of the brand new McLaren Artura, and wow is what I have to say when I'm inside of here. It is a complete redesign in here, not similar to the GT as far as the way everything feels and looks in here. It is a drastically different car on the inside. Um, I'm very impressed on my initial impressions upon stepping inside of here. Let's go ahead and let's close up the door. We do have the Bowers and Wilkins sound system in here. We'll go ahead and give this a close. You can see we have the little speaker right here as well. 
And now let's take our attention right to what you're greeted with. We have the logo and the whole design of the McLaren Arturo right in front of you. And on top of that, we do have your battery power right here and your fuel. So right now with the battery, we have about 18 miles of range. It is again a hybrid system uh, with the battery life at about 96%. We are currently in the sport mode and it's gonna have all of your standard, you know, time, rain, uh, current mileage. This car is 20 miles on it and temperatures outside. Um, on top of that, once we're inside of the car, we are greeted with the McLaren steering wheel. We have metal paddle shifters in here. They feel really nice. They sound great. They have a nice click to them. And again, we have the center McLaren badge in here too. The steering wheel is leather wrapped along with everything else inside of here. Let's go ahead and let's get into the seats. So these seats are the club sport seats. These are about a $1,300 option. In the center, we have a suede material along with leather on the sides. And then coming up the center, we have a leather headrest on here with the McLaren badge embroidered in there. And then we have this metal and brushed aluminum kind of look right in the center, which just goes right through to the other side. Back space here, there is a good amount of room, not too much. And again, it's not like the GT, so you're not gonna have a direct you know, access to the rear end over there. Like the GT is a mid-engined as well. Uh, however, this one, you're not gonna have any access or any room to store any items back there, except for what you have initially right here in front of you. Sitting in here, it is, it is a really nice feeling. We do have a leather armrest down here. We have a couple of plugs in there um, and a little bit of a storage area down there too. We have one single cup holder. This right here is all your gear selectors. You have drive, neutral, reverse, you have your hazard button, and obviously in red, we do have your engine start and stop. That's really it. So this interior is super simplistic. We have your infotainment screen right here in the center, which is very nice. It is definitely responsive. This car also does offer ambient lighting. So as you can see, we have different colors right here that you can go through. Again, a nice little touch. So you can see I did pink. We have the ambient lighting running all the way through here. So this is gloss black. It's such a nice little touch. You would never tell that it was here when the car is off. So again, we'll switch it over to blue and you can see a change on there. Really nice little touch that they added on here. I'm very impressed with how the feel is in here. When you're exiting the car, you do have your standard McLaren latch right here. You just pull this up and the door will come forward, but God forbid the battery were to die, right down here is your little safety latch. So you're able to pull this and then the door will manually open for you. Um, if say this electronic switch to open it is dead or your battery dies. Just a little thing to kind of keep in mind. There's really not too much to say though about the interior because it is so simplistic. Mostly everything is in here. All right, guys, and that's really gonna wrap up the interior of this car. We'll go ahead, we'll jump outside. We'll take a look at the front space because that's all of the space you're gonna actually have in this car besides what's immediately behind me. Um, and again, the interior on here is just relatively simplistic. I like it. I like the whole not a ton of buttons around and a bunch of stuff in your face. You have one screen here, you have one screen here, and you only have your gear selectors down here. So let's go ahead, though. Let's jump on the outside of the car and let's see what space the Artura has to offer. All right, so now with the front end of the Arturo open, we can see we do have a good amount of space in here and what comes with it is, well, your charger. So on top of what a normal car like this of this caliber would have with the triple charger, we do have the plug-in hybrid charger right here. Again, it's going to tell you, you know, your power, your charging and everything like that. So at least you do get that with the car along with a couple of other goodies and a car cover, of course. And there's a good amount of space in here for you to put, say, a weekend bag or something like that in. So with all of that said, let's go ahead, let's close this and let's wrap up this video. All right guys, with all said and done, that wraps up the video of the brand new McLaren Artura. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy videos kind of like this one, be sure to like, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post next. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one. Take care.